Howdy folks, this is Terry here at Adepticon. I'm actually filming with Adam of Tabletop Minions, is that correct? Tabletop Minions. Tabletop Minions, um, a YouTube channel, which I discovered, oh my gosh, about, I don't know, about a year and a half ago for me, I think it was. Um, and, uh, and I've been following you quietly ever since. <laughs> so, um, Adam makes some like incredible videos. And also, like I'm really jealous of your setup. <laughs> I, I yeah I, I went to school for photography mm -hmm. and uh, and so and I wanted to start doing more kind of filmmaking kind of stuff but mm -hmm. I'd also been a gamer for a long time so I thought well I can kind of work these two things together and so yeah some lights and you know a decent kind of idea of how to use them and that kind of stuff has helped a lot. That's awesome. Well, see, I um, did not go there. <laughs> my first vlog was actually me speaking into my webcam for like 20 minutes about sure. uh, stuff I bought. It was, uh, I don't know if a lot of people know this. I talk about this a little bit though. Um, oh, just generally how I ended up being a mini wargaming vlogger because uh, I wanted to be a makeup vlogger. Mm -hmm. Um, but I'm really terrible with makeup. Right. So uh, I thought instead I could talk about all the stuff that I do and all the, the tricks and hints and, and the things that I've picked up over the years. And so that's kind of how I ended up on YouTube. Yeah. So what do you do on your channel? How would you describe it for, for my viewers? Um, I mainly like to talk to people who are starting the hobby, mm -hmm. people who are kind of looking down the barrel of I want to be a tabletop wargamer, mm -hmm. but I'm looking at 40 or 50 or 60 or 100 space marines or something along those lines and figure out like how can you paint more quickly, you know, how can you get over that hump like, well, I'm just not good enough, I don't want to paint, because that can really kind of stop you, mm -hmm. you know, how, different techniques you can use, things like that, how to get mm -hmm. people into the hobby, maybe if they don't want to go with a big army game, they want to go into skirmish, yep. Yep. I mean, there's a lot of stuff like that that is really, in this day and age now, in the, in the, you know, in the later part of the 2010s, mm -hmm. you have so many different options now, Malifaux, Bolt Action, uh, Saga, uh, I can't even think of all the different skirmish <laughs> games that are out there, you know, but yeah, they weren't there yeah. 10 years ago. It, we're kind of in a golden age of mini board games, I agree, for sure. I agree. Um, and, I, you know, and I think that's what attracted me to your channel, is that, because um, I, I talk about how I'm, I, I focus on getting into the hobby as well, mm -hmm. and, and in terms of YouTube content, you know, when you talk about YouTube content and you talk about the tiny slice of it that is mini wargaming related, yeah. and then of that slice, how much of it is actually for people who are just getting into yeah, yeah. the hobby? It's 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 even smaller. It's like a tiny segment of what's out there. There's a lot of videos out there by guys who are really super good painters, mm -hmm. but they assume that you're starting off with an airbrush yep. and that you have the skill to do this and this yeah. and this. And I like to do videos where I'm talking about you know, get two different rattle cans yes. and, and go out and, and, you know, prime them black and then spray them red right. from above and then you have this kind of gradient, which mm -hmm. you probably couldn't have done with a blend no. because you don't have the skill because you're just starting, but it makes, the, you know, the next step that much quicker. Absolutely. And, and I think that's one of the things that, um, you know, those little hints, those little bits of information that... Um, it seems obvious if you've been in the hobby for long enough because you've seen someone do it or you've been around yeah. these types of conventions and people are like, oh, how'd you get that done? It was super easy to this. Um, or even just like going to enough events where you see the same terrain effects, for example. Yeah. Where, yeah. where you just, here's how you make a crater. You take a chunk of foam and you take some aerosol spray and just spray it in the middle. Yeah. Um, and without that kind of exposure to that world, especially if you're starting out, because it's not like you have been to a bunch of events or conventions. Exactly, and I talk to people about how they mm -hmm. need to go out and go to some events yeah. because you do learn these things and you do meet other people who are playing games that maybe you haven't heard of mm -hmm. and then you, they, you can learn about new stuff and meet new people. I mean, it's it's a social hobby. That's the whole mm -hmm. reason 3,000 plus of us are here, you know? <laughs> I mean, we could just be sitting at home playing video games in the dark with against but, people, you know, over the internet, but that's not what we're doing here. And it's one of those things, too, especially if you come from, like, a, a board gaming and an RPG background, um, that's kind of different about war gaming. Mm -hmm. um, board gamers, RPGers, they usually have, like, a group of friends that they, they constantly play with. Pickup gaming is kind of an intrinsically 
um, essential part of the wargaming culture. Because a lot of war games, mm -hmm. most are one on one. Yeah, one on one. You know, one. you play a board game, it's usually, oh, it's better if it's three, but it's really good if it's five, five. Yeah, you know, yeah. that kind of stuff. And yeah. in this situation, most war games are one on one, and you play against somebody, you go down to the shop with your army, and mm -hmm. you know, there you go. And it gets really boring if you play the same guy with the same army exactly. over and over. So uh, it's. You know, in terms of a, a community that is extremely open, it's one of the most, um, it's one of the richest networks I have in mm -hmm. terms of friends because of the fact that I may have played a guy one game at one event, you know, three years ago, and I see him in an event another time. We still know each other. We recognize our, that that experience that we shared together. Yeah bonds us and binds us and, yeah. and I think it's one of my favorite aspects of the hobby you know? yeah Just, absolutely despite everything else we do um, it's community for me oh absolutely I mean I know guys that I pretty much only see at Adepticon <laughs> you know and uh, guys from Kentucky and they bring me bourbon you know and <laughs> stuff like that and we and we bring cheese from Wisconsin <laughs> and all that kind of stuff you know and it's great uh, it's it's honestly this one particular uh, mm -hmm. Adepticon is my favorite convention, and I've been going to Gen Con since 1993. Oh my! Yeah, God. yeah, and you know, I've been. I think in since '93, I've missed maybe three years total, and still, this is now this is easily my favorite convention because everyone you bump into yeah. is a war gamer, and yeah. when you go to like a big Gen Con thing, it's 60,000 people, yes. but this guy's an RPG -er and he's got mm -hmm. a different kind of look on the world, and this person's a Magic player, and they've got a different kind of interest area, and so that's. Why I love Adepticon. It's 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 big enough to feel um, like it's a big deal, but it's small enough to still feel intimate. Yeah. And that's 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 a beautiful thing. Yeah. Um, it's a beautiful thing. All right, so uh, you should definitely check out Adam's channel. I'm gonna link it right in the doobly doo below, as well as uh, I'll throw an annotation here ish. <laughs> I love to point at space that doesn't exist Not in yet. videos, but will. It's, it's like I'm a wizard. Exactly. All right, thanks for watching, folks. Uh,